We've got a major development to report in the Ohio train derailment. Investigators now say the accident was preventable and that there were several sign and signs, warning signs, before the crash in East Palestine. Ohio, which spilled toxic chemicals into the area. Train operator Norfolk Southern says its crew acted properly and pledged to continue cooperating. This comes as Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited East Palestine after facing weeks of criticism for his absence. Roxana Saberi has the latest. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg acknowledged the criticism he's received in recent weeks. I'm here for the work and not for the politics. As he visited the scene of the toxic train derailment in East Palestine. Well, first of all, I want them to know they're not alone. That uh, before, during and after the uh, national attention, they're going to have support. They're going to have support from us when it comes to holding Norfolk Southern accountable. They're going to have support from the EPA when it comes to making sure they get accurate information about the safety of their air, water and soil. As trains continue to pass through this small town, a preliminary NTSB report shows investigators are focusing on an overheated wheel bearing on the train's 23rd car. According to the report, defect detectors placed along the tracks recorded three separate increased temperature readings before the disaster. The first, 38 degrees above the outside temperature. Then, 10 miles later, 103 degrees. And finally, 253 degrees, above the critical threshold, setting off an alarm on the train. The NTSB says that's when the crew applied the brakes, as mandated. But the bearing failed and 38 cars derailed. Problems need to be identified early. So something catastrophic like this does not occur again. I didn't even know there was chemicals involved until two days later, maybe. Uh, Eric Whiting, an East Palestine resident for 12 years, lives only around 30 yards from the train tracks. No value is in the home anymore, and maybe that value will come back, but it'll be years before even the stigma of the town is lifted. He says Norfolk Southern should consider buying out homes like his. For CBS Mornings, I'm Roxana Saberi.